Happy Friday, ladies. Today's message is how to make a decision. You might feel conflicted between two possible choices right now. You might feel confused. You might feel upset over this decision to make. And I have tools for you because I have been in a very similar process. So I want to tell you what I've been doing in real time to make the empowering choice. The first tip I have for you, stay true to yourself, meaning don't search outside yourself for answers. If you find yourself asking others, family members, friends for advice, for feedback, more than tuning in with your own heart, chances are they're going to lead you to something that isn't true for you, that isn't authentic. Ask the better questions and ask them in your own heart. A way to do that is to connect with the wild woman archetype. This archetype is really important to me because she is our intuition. She is the innate wisdom of women. Her, her wild nature doesn't mean that she's out of control. That isn't the point of that word wild. It means that she's in integrity with herself. She sets up healthy boundaries. She knows when to stay. She knows when to go. She knows. She's that internal knower and seeker and oracle. So you can just close your eyes and call her in. I wake up my wild woman through yoga, through chanting, through dancing, putting on a wild song and just letting my body freely express itself because that's what wakes up my intuition. That's what quiets the noise and awakens my heart. And then the next piece I have for you is to write a lot, to write from behind the brain, to write without abandon, to write without judging yourself. And just see what shows up when you just freely give yourself the space to create. Notice what shows up when you go back and read the pages. Because chances are with a new perspective of going back and reading what's happening in your journal, you'll see the answer based on the energy of your words, based on the imagery of your words. Just let it all go. And then the final piece I have for you is a a process that I do with my own clients and it's a process that I receive myself when I go to my own therapist or coach when I need to make a decision. So it's a, to let yourself sit in the full embodiment of each choice. You know, there's a conflict, right? A yes or a no. Let yourself sit in each of them and compare the energies of both. So let's say you're thinking of leaving your job or staying in your job and you're tortured over this choice. Let yourself sit on one side. Let yourself sit in the no, of the no to your job. I'm the no to this job and I'm going to quit. And play the tape through. Find out how you feel. Notice what you're creating in your head. Notice what happens in your heart. Notice your body's reaction. Like I said, play it all the way through and feel it consciously. This is a chance to just fully and completely allow that choice in. And then... Go back to the middle and just like shake it out and then find the other choice. This is, let's say, staying in your job. Let yourself feel that totally and completely. Notice what that does to your body. Notice the reaction you have in your heart. Notice what you begin thinking about. Play the full tape through. And then come back to the middle to your witness position. I call this your healthy self or your true self. And then really notice the difference between the two. When you get the real yes, when you know what your true choice is going to be, there's going to be this liberating feeling, this freedom, this relief. There's going to be all this new creative energy that shows up. You'll just feel more free and alive. When you're in the no, chances are that's going to be really exhausting. It's going to be tiring. It might even feel nauseous. It might feel sick. There's going to be the kind of lower vibrational energy that you can really pay attention to. And that's how you know. It's really just trusting your body and your emotions and your mind. And then the final offering I have for you is to not call this decision anymore a decision. Because when you decide something, you're literally killing off an outcome. The whole energy behind a decision is very different than a choice. This is something that I learned with Landmark Education. When you choose something, there's so much freedom there. You're not killing off any outcome. You're just wholly and completely choosing something with freedom and all the possibilities can unfold as a result of that. It doesn't mean you're letting go of anything. You're just fully and completely choosing something. And that just feels good. And I'd love to hear what your opinion is on this. 
the energy behind decide or choose. Tell me how you feel about that. And if you need any support with choosing this next step for you, share in the comments what you're dealing with right now and I'll offer some support. So this is what I've been dealing with. This is what I've been using. And I'm really happy to say that I'm no longer tortured or tormented or in agony or even feeling confused anymore because I followed this process wholly and completely and I've chosen what I need to do. So there it is. Enjoy and have a great weekend.